Okay, to me, um, like I said, this this is acorns. And acorns come down at a million miles per hour. That's what that is, but it washes away. I mean, really. When you have a million oak trees all over the place, I've never seen so many acorns in my life. I can remember I used to search for them when I first started preschool teaching before we moved here. Now, oh my goodness, I could sell acorns. Anyway, that's not what this is about. This video happens to be about tulips and daffodils, yay! It is that time, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I'm not doing this today. I have plenty of time. You really have until, uh, let's see. Well, before the ground freezes, typically that would be the end of October. But I got those mm, last week, I believe. Last week, um, we were having such nice weather. And here's the thing with tulips and daffodils. That looks, I'm doing two things at once. Just can't believe. I'm, I'm talking, but just can't believe how these chipmunks. Look, look what they did to my daddy's shoes. Those usually have hens and chicks in them. I don't mess with them all year. Look, look, look at that. How they didn't. Mm, we'll fix that. Look, 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 look. Look at that. I'll get that together after this video. But they were full. Something, something went to town. It might not have been a chipmunk. Anyway, sidetracked. That's a problem I have. Um, okay, so tulips and daffodils are perennials. Yes, they are. And they always come back. Always. I'm going to have tulips and daffodils from how long we've we been here? Seven years coming back. Okay, I'm sure at my other houses, they're coming back. But I plant them every year. You know why? Because one year they're just not going to come back or they're not going to be as full or you're not going to know if something a chipmunk or squirrel got in there and uh ate them up you just you're not going to know so it's just ideal to always get some tulips and daffodils in the ground and sometimes i run into old bulbs you just put them back and replant okay that's what you do there uh, what else? That's it. You have a very good Saturday. It's chill day for me. I purposely, I set myself up yesterday in a good way where I did not have to get out at all today. I just don't. It felt a little odd. I'm not even going to lie. It felt odd. And I got to sweep up here. I'm sorry. And the leaves are coming. I, I said I'm not, I'm not raking. I'm not raking. Or blowing leaves not today i can do that next week i'm gonna rest today okay a couple more pumpkins and see this mom it needs some more sunlight but it's okay slowly but surely that aster I, that aster got trimmed back see you got trimmed back all the dead spots and those mums I was showing you, um, was that the last video? There were mums in pots. It was like, bam, bam, bam. I took off the porch. And they're back, those mums that were next to the tulips and daffodils. They're in, um, we'll call it a mum hospital, okay? They got trimmed because they were looking ugly. They were looking ugly. And I had to trim them back. So they're just back there right now. All right, everybody, have a great Saturday. Bye.